okay so today we'll start with so today we'll start with binary operation problems okay whatever problems has been discussed in the see you don't have to raise your hand you can just type if you have any doubts you can type in the chat box okay so i'm not allowing anyone to unmute themselves and talk so if you have any doubt please type in the chat box i'll see that okay is that fine okay so to, today we'll begin with binary operations so hope you know what you uh, hope you all uh, i hope you have uh, gone through the definitions of binary operation and all those things and uh, what and all we had discussed in the previous class regarding the uh, we had discussed some more uh, definitions i guess regarding the associative property uh, commutative property identity element all those things we had discussed correct am i not audible students i hope i am audible if not uh, please check your mic if it is uh, i think there is an option join through audio something just enable it i hope i am audible okay fine okay now so today we'll start with binary operations so i had discussed okay so okay binary operations so i hope you have gone through the definitions and all those things so what do you mean by a binary operation it is nothing but a function okay a binary operation is nothing but a function but we define it by star okay star on a what do you mean by star on a which means the domain and codomain both are set a okay so star is nothing but a function it is defined from a cross a to a so if you have binary means it should relate some two elements in that particular set and you have to get a result eradu element galannu combine madlikke ondu symbol use madvantadu idu ee star enu agirabodu plus minus division multiplication lcm hcf anything it can be anything for that matter binary can be anything so a eradu element anu ee this is nothing but the cartesian product right so you'll have the ordered pair a comma b so when you relate this you'll get an answer a plus b this a plus b should be unique ee a plus b anta yen answer sigutte that should be unique and it should belong to set a and this should be true for every element on set a only then we can say that a particular operation is a binary operation okay this we had discussed in in our regular class in, in our previous classes so now uh i had also discussed you uh, uh, discussed about the properties there are certain properties commutative property commutative property i had discussed so hope you have gone through the definition what do you mean by commutative property suppose star is a binary operation in order to satisfy the commutative property the first condition is the given operation should be binary operation how we will say that a given operation is binary if whatever elements you take after the after performing that operation the answer which you get if you, if it belongs to the same set aitha yerad element tagondu adakke operation apply madidaga siguva answer a set olagade untu matadu unique agide anta helidre then we say that it is binary so commutative property check madbeku anta helidre first condition is it should be a binary operation and if you take any elements from set a okay a comma b and if you can say that a star b is equal to b star a that is order is not important yava order alli madidru sa nimage answer same bartta ide anthe helidre a star b madidru b star a madidru if you are getting the same answer then we can say that that particular operation satisfies the that particular operation satisfies the commutative property okay so now moving to the next property what was the next property which was discussed associative property associative property so what was associative property again the first condition is star should be binary okay that is it should have the answer and answer should be unique okay star it should be binary and 
ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಎನಿ ರ್ಯಾಂಡಮ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಒಂದ್ ಮೂರ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಡಮ್ ಆಗಿ ತಗೋತಾ ಇದೀರಾ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಾ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ಈ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಮಾಡಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ದನ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬೈನರಿ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗೆ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಸಿ ಮಾಡುವಂತದ್ದು ಅದ್ರ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಏನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಎ ಜೊತೆ ಕಂಬೈನ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತದ್ದು ದೆನ್ ಯುಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯುಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಅನ್ನು ಸಿ ಜೊತೆ ಕಂಬೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಯಾವ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ ಎರಡು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅಂತ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತದ್ದು ಸಪೋಸ್ ಅದ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ದನ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇ ಅಂತ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಹೇಗ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಎ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಇ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ದನ್ ಇ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಥಿಯರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಚೆಕ್ ವೆದರ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೈನರಿ ಆರ್ not okay if you can answer it's fine if not i'll give you the i'll answer the first question the next one you can try okay so what is the we have to check whether the operation is binary or not andre e operation a star b andre hege define madidare modulus of a minus b modulus of a minus b and where a and b belongs to z plus what do you mean by z plus z plus is what do you mean by z plus students which set is it is what do you mean by z plus what do you mean by z plus what do you mean by z plus integers positive integers good good no fatima so positive integer so positive integers so yavde erade positive integer tagondaga if you take any any two positive integers and if you apply a star b ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ತ್ರೀ ಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಯಾವುದೇ ಎರಡು ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇಂಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರು modulus of a minus b ge nimige en answer barutte this we have to check whether this belongs to positive integers okay whether this is a binary idu ee rithi yavade eradu positive integer tagonda mele first you have to do a minus b and then take the modulus whether it is a positive integer or a negative integer is it a positive integer or a negative integer yavadagirutte modulus of a minus b madidaga c it will be positive yes it will be positive which means whether it is unique or diff, you'll get a uh, same answer for more, most of the questions it is unique also so what does this mean this is an binary operation it will be unique yes so it is a binary operation so in very big new yes as for every a comma b belongs to z plus okay a star b is equal to modulus of a minus b belongs to z plus and it is unique okay and it is unique okay so this will be your answer so yes this is a binary operation hope this question was clear i hope this question was clear for everyone yes okay so we'll move to the next question so what is the next question on z plus define a star b as how they have defined a star b so again the set is z plus that is the positive integer a star b is equal to a to the power b so whether this function is a whether this operation is a binary operation remember a star b ge yavde answer kottru adra answer integers alli irbeku whether this is a binary operation check students whether this is a binary operation if you take any value no why clara why it is no, not a binary operation okay there are no from 
I think Clara has given the answer as no. Others have given yes. If yes, why it is yes? If not, why it is not? If you could give me an example for no, there is power. Yeah. So what do you mean by Z plus positive integers? What do you mean by Z plus? From where the number starts? So here, yeah, here zero also includes, correct? Zero also includes, okay? So zero power zero, what is zero power zero? Whether it is a defined form, zero power zero, okay students, there is a, a slight mistake, yeah, this is a binary operation, true, because uh, zero is neither positive nor negative, so you can't include zero, so this particular question is a binary operation, yes, this is a binary operation, if you take any two positive numbers, two to the power, uh, five or something like that, you'll get a positive answer. So this is a binary operation. Yes, this is a binary operation. Good. So we'll move on to the next question. So what is the next question? On set of real numbers, on set of real numbers, how the uh, question is defined? A star B is equal to square root of AB. A star B is equal to square root of AB. Whether this particular uh, binary, uh, whether this operation is a binary operation. Remember, square root of the answer yavaglu, real number agirbeku. Whether it is true always, whether this is true always, that is square root of AB always belongs to real numbers. Whether this is true, whether this is true, students. So I'll, I'll take an example. Okay, Bhanu Prakash has said no. Why Bhanu Prakash? It is no. Yes, Ranjita also has told no. Okay, so I can see many no. So can you give me an example why it is not a binary operation? Can you find any number such that square root of AB does not belong to real number? Can you find any, any such numbers? Can you give, uh, give an example for A and B? A and B, can you give some values for A and B such that square root of AB is not a real number? Can you give some value for A and B? Values kodi, A mathe B ke values kodi so that square root of AB is not a real number. If it is no. Okay, I'll give an example. A is equal to minus 1 and B is equal to 1. Okay, so accord, uh, accordingly what it should be? Uh, what it should be? A star B is minus 1 star minus 1 minus 1 star 1. So how we will define? It is square root of minus 1 into 1. So minus 1 into 1 is square root of minus 1. Whether square root of minus 1 belongs to real number? Whether square root of minus 1 belongs to real number? Yes, real number includes both rational and irrational numbers. Okay, whether square root of minus 1 belongs to real number? Square root of minus 1? Square root of minus 1. I think you have studied about complex numbers, right? What is the value of i? What is the value of i? What is the value of i? i is equal to square root of minus 1. So whether this square root of minus 1 belongs to R, it doesn't belong to R. That's why we introduced, so we could, that's why we had introduced complex numbers. Correct? Uh? Real numbers are square root of negative values. Square root of minus 2, square root of minus 3, it is real numbers. So if you then include model the post graph, we defined a bigger set called as complex number set. Hope this was clear. Okay, so this is not a binary operation because if you take the square root of negative numbers, if you take minus 2 and 2, so that is square root of minus 4. 
So if you take a is equal to minus two, b is equal to two, then it is two into mi minus two into two is minus four. Square root of minus four does not belongs to real number. So this is not a binary operation. Hope this was clear. Square root of the negative numbers binary operation agiro dilla. Ya kanda square root of the parvanta negative numbers real numbers agiro dilla. It will be a it is a complex number. Okay. Okay. So we'll go go for the next question. So what is the next question on Q? What is Q? What do you mean by Q? Which set is this? What do you mean by Q? Which set is this? Which set is this, students? Which set is this on Q? Q is a set of rationals. Are you listening to me or not? Set of rationals. Q and the hell is there? Set of rationals. I don't want unwanted chats in the chat box. Only if it is related, then you can type something. Okay. Okay. So Q is nothing but set of rationals. Whether this particular operation is a binary operation, take it define. Made there is a star b is equal to a b plus one. So in check mark beko. If you take any two rational number, check whether a b plus one is also a rational number. Okay, check whether a b plus one is also a rational number. Whether this is true, whether this particular function is a, whether this particular function is, uh, is a binary operation or not. It is a binary operation. See, I have told you not to raise the hand. If you have any queries, please type in the chat box. Okay. Okay. So this is Ashwini. This is not a, a binary operation. Why? Whatever if you give. So yau the yaro rational numbers the one right. For example, if you take two by three and three, these two are rational numbers, correct? So according to our definition, two by three. Star three. How we will define? It is equal to a b plus one. So here a is equal to two by three, b is equal to three. So it is two by three into three plus one. So three three get cancelled. So two plus one is three. Again three is a rational number. Rational numbers under integers could a rational numbers agatte. Minus one is a rational number because we can write minus one as minus one by one. Rational numbers is nothing but numbers which can be written in the form p by q. Okay, numbers which can be written in the form p by q, where q is not equal to zero, and p and q should not have any common factors. Okay, so this question it is a binary operation. Okay, ya kanthe dera ya apte yaro rational numbers ta kundre, adra product kuda rational number agi hote. If you add it, then also you'll get a Rational add one to it, then also you'll get a rational number. So this question is a binary operation. If it is a binary operation, just write yes, it is a binary operation. If not, find an example. Okay, that's it. That is how you'll solve this questions. Okay, next question. So here you don't have to say whether it is a binary or not. You just have to find the value. So uh, the Binary operation is defined on set of natural numbers. How they are defined? A star B is equal to LCM of A and B. Okay. And remember, this question has been repeated many times for one mark. Okay. So A star B is equal to LCM of A and B. Now, what we have to find? We have to find what is five star seven. Substitute. So it is LCM of five and seven. So what is the LCM of five and seven, students? What is the LCM of five and seven? What is the LCM of five and seven? LCM तेरे को बरत कला? LCM it's not HCF. LCM. I've asked LCM not HCF. Yes, thirty five. Thirty five. Good students. Good. So what is the answer? Thirty five. Note down this. They have repeated many times. Okay, for one more question again. Or who? बैनरियो अलो अंतर क्वेश्चन वालू सब्सटिट्यूटी आंसर चेक हेल्थ थर्टी फैके 
So I hope this was clear. So we'll move on to the next question. So now there is a slight change in the pattern of the question. So you have to check whether the following binary operations are uh, following our binary operations are binary. Sorry, there's a uh, mistake in the question. You have to check whether the following operations are binary. Okay, whether the following op operations are binary, whether it satisfies commutativity associated. So this is a three mark question. Okay. Okay, these are three mark questions. So what you have to check? First, you have to check whether it is a binary operation or not. Okay, and then you have to check whether it satisfies commutative property and associative property. So A star Z plus is again positive integers. Okay, so A star B is equal to 2 to the power AB. binary find out So uh, I think I'll get the answer immediately now. Whether this particular operation is a binary operation. Okay. So whether this is a binary operation. 2 to the power AB. Yes. Good. See. It is a binary operation, Hafiz. So it is a binary operation. Yes. Good students. Good, good. So A star B is equal to. So Yaude Yerad positive integers the one root. 2 to the power AB is again a positive integer. It belongs to Z plus. Hence, it is a binary operation. Now, check for commutativity. Commutativity ke hege check maad beko. In in find out maad beko andra nivo. First, find what is A star B. Okay. Find what is A star B. Find what is B star A. Okay. A star B. I am already good today. What is A star B? 2 to the power A B. See. It is very denote maad e pantha do. Illi nivi ka values kod vantha. Okay, so what is B star A? B star A will be 2 to the power. Iga A is the B is B is the A is So 2 to the power B A. Okay, 2 to the power B A. Can I write this 2 to the power B A as 2 to the power A B? We can write that, right? Because product is commutative. A B is always equal to B B A in set of positive integers. Okay. So, 2 to the power AB, BA can be written as 2 to the power AB. So, whether A star B is equal to B star A, is it is true? Whether A star B is equal to B star A, whether this is true? Yes. So, commutativity holds. Okay. Now, next comes associativity. Associative property. Associative property lane maad beko. First again, A star B star C A nun the find out man. Okay, find what it is. And then find A star B star C. Check whether both the answers are true or false. Okay, how to check? So, here you have to apply that board mass rule. So, first you have to go for the bracket. So, first again, A star B star C A li check man. So, first keep A star as it is. First solve the things inside the bracket. Okay, so B star C and Rishta Gatte, according to this, it should be 2 to the power B C. Correct? 2 to the power B C. Correct? Huh? Next, now apply this binary operation on A and 2 to the power B C. Okay, A and 2 to the power B C. Iga, nama definitionally A irvalli A ide, B irvalli 2 to the power B C ide. So, it will be there, only 2 to the power BC in the replace market. Okay, you have to replace it by 2 to the power BC. Okay, so that will be 2 to the power, wherever there was A, I have kept it as A. Instead of B, I have 2 to the power BC. Okay, 2 to the power BC. So, this is my A star B star C. Okay, listen again. First again, man, we could bracket what I give one to no solve. Okay, what is B star C? E definition apply money. Iga A is the B the B is the C the. So it will be two to the power B C. Okay, Ita Iga idiara to question idiara to numbers kade ge E definition apply money. So A is the li A ne the B is the li ne the li. Now it is two to the power B C. So definition hege the A star B and the hege the two to the power a, B and the, so you have to write 2 to the power A, 
into in place of b now my number is 2 to the power bc so b irvalli 2 to the power bc in the replace madu hope this was clear okay okay students okay so now find a star b star c so first a star b a in the find out so a star b is we know the definition it is 2 to the power ab star c okay 2 to the power ab star c okay next what you have to do now you apply the now you apply the definition for these two numbers iga a iddalli enide 2 to the power ab ide b iddalli c ide in this definition where there was ab we had we have 2 to the power ab and where we had b now it is c so if you replace it is 2 to the power 2 to the power ab into c okay 2 to the power ab into c so this is so whether these two are same or not whether this is true or false whether this is a associative prop whether this particular binary operation satisfies associative property or not give me the answer students whether this satisfies associative property or not so it is not associative why because you can see it is not equal aagutada no it is not equal so it it is not associative whether 2 to the power a into 2 power b c is equal to 2 power 2 a b into c no so this is not associative hope this was clear so we'll move on to the next question so we are running out of the time students okay so the next question is on set of rational numbers okay set of rational numbers how they have defined a star b is equal to a b plus 1 okay a b plus 1 okay so what we have to check we have to check whether it is binary we have to check whether it is binary operation commutativity whether it satisfies and associativity so check it so already we have checked for binary operation so this is a binary operation is true check for commutativity whether this particular operation is commutative or not so find what is a star b a star b is equal to a b plus 1 find what is b star a so what is b star a b star a is b a plus 1 okay just you can see there is a replacement that's it so b star a is b a plus 1 so i can write b a as a b as well okay b a and a b and the kuda bari both namiya correct because rational numbers satisfies commutative property of multiplication so it is a b plus 1 so whether a, a star b is equal to b star a a star b is equal to b star a yes they are equal so this particular operation satisfies commutativity so next is associativity a star b star c and find what is a star b star c so what is b star c so first apply for b star c then apply for a so it is a star b c plus 1 correct b star c ke first apply maartta idivi so according to the definition it is b c plus 1 now apply for a star b c plus 1 so illi a idda jagadalli a ide b idda jagadalli now it is b c plus 1 so it is a into b c plus 1 plus 1 okay so that is a b c plus a plus 1 multiply a into b c is a b c a into 1 is a plus a into 1 is uh, sorry plus 1 okay so now find what is a star b star c so we know what is a star b a star b is a b plus 1 star c 
So in now in place of A we have A B plus one, and in place of B we have uh, B we have C. So apply that. So that is A B plus one into C plus one. Correct? Huh? A is the liga, A B plus one is there. B is the C. So definitionally A is the li, A B plus one apply made the B. B is the li, C apply made. So it is A. Now multiply. So A B into C is A B C plus C plus one. So whether A star, whether this particular operation satisfies the associative associative property, whether both are equal? No, it is not. Hope this was clear. Okay. So this question was repeated many times. Okay, this was repeated many times for three marks question. So carefully you listen. Again. Uh, the question is on set of rationals, so clearly it is a binary operation. This is a binary operation because a b by two always is a rational number. So we'll check for commutativity. We'll check for commutativity and associativity. Okay, we'll check for commutativity and associativity. So for commutativity, it is a star b. So what is a star b? Is a b by two. What is b star a? B star a is b a by two. So b a can be written as a b a b by two. So whether a star b is equal to b star a, you can see both are equal. So it is it satisfies commutative property. So next check for associativity. Okay, check for associativity. So that is a star b star c is equal to. Check what you have to do first. You have to apply for b star c. So it is b star c. Ke hega gatte you'll get b c by two. Correct. In place of a we have b. In place of b we have c. So it is a star b c by two. Next apply for these two terms. So wherever we have a, it is already a. In place of B, I have it. It has B C by two, so it is A into B C by two whole divided by two. So that is A B C divided by four. Okay, A B C divided by four. Now check for A star B star C. Okay, A star B star C. So for A star B, you have to apply the operation first. So it is a b by two star c. So it will be a b by two into c divided by two. So it is a b c by four. So this particular operation is satisfies associativity also. So we'll stop here. Okay, we'll stop the session here. I have few more questions as homework. I'll give it as homework questions. So you just try, and regarding the notes, students, I'll give the notes once the chapter completes. That is by today evening you'll get the notes, and I want everyone to complete the notes. Okay. Okay.